show extra for. And this extra show, I'm going to be looking at a new sample application that's included in the new SDK for Media Center and Vista Edition called the Z application or Z application from the UK, but I'll keep it simple, we'll call it Z. But it's a new type of uh, sample application for Media Center. It's a complete end to end solution of a, of a fictitious uh, content company. So it includes everything the screen navigation, layouts, XML. Uh, databases, uh, download managers, everything is included in there as a complete end-to-end -end sample and all this source code is included in there as well and uh, I really wanted to show off this off because I think it's a very powerful sample application as it inspires developers to look at this and to see what's possible but I think it's also going to show off to content providers of a kind of brand that they can produce for Media Center and uh, you know, really make the use of the power of the Media Center markup language and as you'll see you know, it's a long way from the HTML applications that we've seen in the past. So I'm going to dive straight into the application which is found under the program libraries and is installed by the SDK. Okay so the application loads up and you can see here that look at the nice background there the um, animation uh, it just um, gives it a real polished feel about it. So first you've got an example of a login screen. You don't actually have to log in, uh, but the, the, obviously the source code is there, so if you're building login screens, this is a good place to start. So you can type through the keyboard, or you can go to show an on-screen keyboard. I thought this is quite a nice touch here. So you can use the remote control, put your username, password in. And also including the source code is a QWERTY version of that if you think that be you prefer that. And straight away you can see from here the style of UI is very visual, very slick. It's not all buttons and text, it's very graphical. Uh, so we're going to start here with the movies section. So you can again go to the directly to any of those three, or I can just go to movies and look at them all. And as it says on the blog Charlie Owen uh, wrote about the sample application on Media Center Sandbox, content is king. And here you can see you're navigating using thumbnails of the content rather than your sort of text or buttons. So you can see all the content in there, very similar to how the, the music and the, and the TV guy and the recorded TV works in, in Media Center. You can use the pivots to change categories. Again, all very simple through the remote. Pick on the item you want. Again, you've got that nice visual look at that. Fantastic pictures. Uh, taken, some of these are taken by Thomas Hawk. Uh, yes, it really does show off uh, how well Media Center works. And imagine this on, uh, on your 50 inch LCD. I can preview that. And notice there while we're previewing that, it's actually um, still got the menu navigation on there. So you're getting like a movie pre preview, so you're seeing how graphical the user interface is. Have you noticed on the little Z back back to main button there? So that's like a, a branded way of keeping everything together. And I can, obviously I can use a back through the remote, all this will take me right back to the start page. So I'm going to hit back with my remote. and I can then continue browsing through the content. Let's pause that and if I go up to the, there, back to main, take me back to the main bit, um, some of the content and there you can see I've got again the option of previewing or I can purchase. So let's purchase that. Again you'll see the branded uh, dialog boxes so that's been added to my download queue. Let's go to the download button here on the bottom. And you can see that I've uh, started that uh, movie download off earlier on and that's still in progress. And this is uh, a really useful feature being able to you know see what's going download and, and again this is the what we're trying to show here is this is in Media Center Market Language, so this is available to to all developers and you can see it's it's almost like a whole new user interface for Media Center and I really hope this inspires some uh, content providers to do some great content for Media Center. Okay, so let's go back. Let's have a look at the TV section now. 
So what's interesting on the TV's view is, as well as having the uh, the, big, the, the two line gallery view, you can pick on uh, sort of a, a TV, say a TV program here, and then it shows you the episodes of that program. So you could go through Simpsons, and then you could see all your episodes of Simpsons. So rather than just as you currently would see them as individual items, you've got that sort of category uh, related element to them, and that's using um, data binding. And again, the source code is all included, so you can see how that data binding works. And I think they've been using XML and Access. So you can here see here an example of using the record button, and this uses the click to record API. So I can go into record, and then that actually uses the click to record API to schedule the recording of that item. And uh, here's the confirmation dialog box again with uh, with nice graphic art on there. Now, one of the things that's been asked for quite a lot from various listeners to the show has been a folder navigation for music, and that's one of the things they've put in here. The music section actually enumerates through the the folders located in, um, in the music folder on the public user. For Vista, so you can see here if I go through sample music, you can see here the sample files that are in the in there. I can pick one of those, and that adds it to the the queue. Now it says on the blog post Charlie Charlie Owens put about they've not done the uh, API to get the additional metadata and album art, but you can see you know, the power of it there. One of the nice things about the music is you can see here I've got the files that are in the music folder, and this is uh, using the, in, using the directory structure of the files straight from the file system. There's also supports multiple files, file hierarchy, so I can go through that subfolder and again and pick on a track through there. So a lot of people have asked for and asked for that feature, and uh, there it is with source code included. So it gives you a really good feel for the power of this. That you know, people have asked for those functions, and it's something that can be included. Let's have a look at the search function. You see, all the screens have got the search for download button. So have a look at the search, and it's using an XML uh, data set. So it's using XML for all the for the data. So let's search for something where we can leave all the categories set. So. If we I've typed ER, and there you can see all the items, and you get the metadata in there, and it's very, very visual and so easy to use with the with the remote control again. So we can pick on something, and like we did before, we can preview that. And you notice when we've got the preview, we've still got the metadata up there as well. You'll not you'll notice as well how the as I use the mouse here, the transport controls don't get in the way of any of the application um, which is uh, very important and a lot of people developers forget to do this so as I use the mouse to navigate through the application you'll, nev you'll notice nothing gets trampled on so that everything's clear and you can still pick up all the pick up all, all the items